Hey guys, it's me, your favorite host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and welcome back to the Expert Walker for Dark Souls 2. We left off here in the Dragonary, and I don't need this anymore. I was actually in the uh, Gurm's Respite. Do I want? No, I'll take this. Um, I was in the Gurm's Respite farming Titanite chunks off of those dudes because I wanted to max out the bonk. You guys know I can't leave the bonk behind. It's a huge part of who I am. Be it Rock Samurai or not. Okay, so you got these guys. And here's the problem with these guys. Not only do they blow up and send you flying, which will knock you off the bridge, I'm pretty sure. Okay, you can't go running off, so maybe not, but... Um, it looks intimidating enough, like they could. But they actually degrade your equipment when they blow up. They create the same kind of cloud that the bugs in the Shrine of Amana do, so... You have to watch out for these dudes. I mean, what, you can just do this when they get near you. Just take them down like that. Easy stuff, right? Okay. In this level, we are going to face lots of my mortal enemy. Here's what I need to do, though. Um, yep, I don't have poison arrows. We're going to have to go get those. After we kill the first of my mortal enemy... Now, this thing, I do 615 damage with it. That's a lot. So, what I want to do is uh, give it even more damage. Why not? Now, behind this pile of eggs over here is where the culprit is. Maybe? Yep, there he is. Okay, here we go. Yeah. No less than 1,000 damage. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and I will explain the penalty of breaking the eggs. Why am I running back? Are you kidding me? We just got the feather. The hell are we running for? Yeah, I actually need to go back to the Gurm's Respite so I can find Gavlan in his final location. Where is it? There it is. And we need to buy poison arrows. They are going to be an enormous part of how we do this level. Now, when I do the, the Dragonary, there's actually going to be quite a lot of... Uh, let's test out our damage on this Mastodon. There's going to be quite a lot of going back to the bonfire. I mean, constantly. So, I hope you guys don't get too annoyed with that. And I'm sorry this video didn't go up sooner. I was actually really busy earlier. I was uh, in the middle of soundproofing one of the walls of my room, the one directly in front of me, above where my TV is, and uh, a little bit off to the side, so hopefully that'll get rid of some of the echo that you guys hear when I do my commentary. Let me know how that's going. Okay, I need lots of these. And you know I should buy... No, never mind. I've got a few of that stuff. Alright. And I'm also trying to work on getting another uh, CPU, possibly, because I know you guys can hear my computer just running like a jet engine right now. Hopefully that's not too annoying either, but I'm trying to either go with liquid cooling soon or something to upgrade my system so that it won't be so loud when I play games. Yeah been dropping a lot of money lately to help improve this channel, so hopefully that'll do its thing. Okay, let's see. You don't need the bonk just yet. I'll play with this thing for a second. The spider silk is actually a heavily underrated weapon. It does better than I thought it would, and I thought it was going to suck. Now, you notice that invader that got me in the last video I did with a rock samurai. I think it was down in the undead crypt when he was piercing through my shield. Yeah, that was a good display of what it can do because he ripped me apart. And somebody in the comments said that he was actually another live streamer, which is interesting. But here's what we needed those arrows for.
Now this is why I said there's going to be a lot of quitting and then uh, or going back to the bonfire repeatedly because to kill that dragon I highly doubt we're going to be able to do it without making all the lizards up here run their asses off. And he's a big enough pain to kill as it is. So we're just going to try to poison him repeatedly. And it worked. You see, he's got a ton of health, so it's going to take some amount of time to kill him. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to kill him without making the lizards run away by staying right here on this corner. And he's not doing anything, which is good for us. Normally, he flies around and tries to shoot fire at you, which has incredible reach, by the way. It can hit you from right here. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, you see that reach? We would have just got barbecued if we hadn't moved. So, we'll check for the lizards, make sure they're still there. Good. And now we go back to cowardice fighting. Okay, he's catching on. I knew it. <laughs> Speaking of soundproofing, I'm actually going to upload a song for you guys. I don't think anyone on this channel has ever heard me sing before. I'm not particularly good at it, but it's a song that I've been wanting to do bad. Oh. I'll take that trade. Hell yeah, I'll take that trade. You got poisoned. Let's finish him off. Yeah! Okay, lizards are still there. Good. Time for the bonk. Now, another thing is I will explain the usefulness of the binoculars. Or binocular vision. So here's what you can do. Something super powerful like Great Resonant Soul. I mean, which literally hits like a semi. Be very careful. Make sure that you are well within your hitbox, and you shoot them with binoculars. That is a one-shot right there. That is exactly what we're looking for. Now, the uh, Great Resonance Soul does not have quite the range. And watch out for these other lizards, too, because they can see you from a mile away. They're, it's like hunting deer, literally. They are just incredibly agile creatures that can sense everything around them. The problem with Great Resonance Soul is that it does not go as far as Crystal Soul Spear or regular Soul Spear spells like that. They have a further range. Okay, I was not able to hit him right there. There we go. And I'm scared to use Dark Orb because I'm afraid it won't one-shot him. And that is, that is what I want. I really want to one-shot these things. Because once they start running, it just You've seen it. It goes to hell. It's impossible to catch them. Okay, so let's run over here and Dark Orb this guy. See what I mean? Dark Orb just won't do the job. This is why you want to kill them all, though. Titanite Chunks. Twinkling Titanite. Petrified Dragon Bones. That came from the dragon, actually. Interestingly enough. Okay, more chunks, petrified bones, large shards, all that good stuff that you love and want. Dark Knight Stone, that's, those are going to be good for my build, and there's going to be a sneaky little lizard sitting up here that's not going to escape. Alright. And you guys notice how the bonk did 812 damage right there, whereas it did a little over a thousand with Dark Weapon on it, and I didn't even have Sacred Oath active. Okay, you get Dragon Tooth right here, which is a strength-based weapon. Where it be? There it is. Needs 50 strength, though. Has incredibly high base damage. And it has the same exact moveset as what I'm using, except just a little bit different. That's its two-hand attack, instead of being like the rotation-type spin of the bonk. 
So, yeah, that's that. Okay, let's go grab this. So, little brave warrior, I'll take it. Okay. So now, you have two different ways that you can go. And now this next dragon, I know for a fact that I'm not going to be able to kill him without scaring all the lizards away. So we're going to have to make a trip back to the bonfire after killing this dragon. Dragons are weak to strike damage, just like heavily armored foes. So keep that in mind. As long as you have something that does blunt, you should be fine. Whereas if you have something like a katana that does slash or something like this that does thrust... Yeah, you're going to need something that does strike damage. I don't believe there's anything up here, but I'm going to check anyways. Oh, that was where the lizard was. Never mind. I feel like an idiot now. Okay, so there's two different ways you can go here. You can go down below. And that'll take you to a more typical route to get to the next dragon. I think... Yeah, there's nothing up here. Just pointless, yeah. So, the route that I'm going to take to get to this next dragon is... Um, I'm going to take the more scenic route. <laughs> so... Hi. Hi. Oh, damn it. I've got my bow out. It's not going to do much damage to him. Oh, wow. It killed him. Never mind. Now, again, on these areas with the ledges and stuff, you got to be careful with these guys that blow up because they'll send you tumbling. And that is not something you want. There's going to be another one of those guys around the corner up here. Well, fuck it. I'll just keep the bow equipped. So you can see him right there. Be smart. Use your camera. Before you actually get around a corner, rotate your camera to make sure that there's nothing there. It'll help you survive a lot more in this game. Alright. So. Here's what I'm going to do. Take a good look. Yeah. I think we're good. Actually, no. This is not the dragon that you can get to from two different ways. I'm sorry, it's actually the third dragon. That is the one that we're focused on. This is the second dragon. There's only one way to get up to him, unfortunately. And... Ugh. He's got lots of lizards in there with him. And we're just gonna have to do our best to fight him head on. So let's poison him first. Because we are cowards. And he's going to send fire right through there. I think. I don't know. Maybe if I sit here, it won't incinerate me. I'm going to shoot him in the wings. Yeah, that's doing damage. You know. Okay. Oh, jeez. It does not care that there's a rock there. But that's cool. We're going to roll with this. Okay, I don't think it can reach me from where he is now, so we're going to re-poison him. Oh. Oh, come on. There's nothing there. There we go. Go, 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 go. gonna do that again and we're gonna do this again or at least I no what do you know he's being a good boy <laughs> I wonder if we can bleed him with these let's find out I know it won't do a whole lot of damage but it'll be fun to experiment okay even though he can't physically see me right now he still knows that my... The AI still knows that I'm right here, and he will use the fire. So you gotta be careful. See? Yeah. It's a bunch of baloney. I know. Oh, he's not... 
Okay, whatever. If you don't want to do anything, then I will. Woo! Could not jump in time. Okay. Okay, let's try to poison him once more. There we go. And then, once we poison him, I think we can just finish him off with standard arrows. If I don't have to run in there and fight him, then I'm not going to. That's all there is to it. So let's let the poison do its job, and then we'll finish him off with some dark arrows. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah! Die! Okay, so for this part, we are going to buff with Dark Weapon, and we are going to use Sacred Oath, because I do not want to let Lizards get away, ever. So, the two-handed running attack is a down smash. It is incredibly reliable for what we need it for right now. Like that. We'll get some of that. And let's see, that dude over there, we'll see... I highly doubt that I... Well, he actually looks closer. I don't know. Pretty sure there's only three lizards in this area. We got him way over there. And then we got this dude down here. So I'm going to go for this guy first. So pretty sure he's... Oh my god. Gotcha. Don't even try to run from me. So twinkle, sprinkle. And now you. Try not to attack too early, because if you hit the ground and whiff, it's going to suck. Yeah! Got some more chunks and some more petrified bones. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, this is going surprisingly well. Only because I've done it a thousand and one times. <laughs> Poor guy. He died trying to get the lizards. All right. So now we're going to go up here. Well, actually, no. There's one more item. Good soul item. Now up there, there is a dude. I don't think you can see him, but he's right around the corner. So keep your eyes peeled. There he is. I hate that guy. All right. Now, let me check something out real quick. Okay, yeah, you can go around this way. And I don't necessarily recommend it because he can hit you so insanely easily up here. And there's an item behind those eggs, too. He can hit you so easily from up here, and it'll make the lizards run away, because they can see you from up here. Just, no. Don't do it. Now let me explain the penalty for breaking the eggs. We're going to be confronted by a very large, rickety bridge that's going to have lots of dragons flying around it. If you break a certain amount of eggs in this level, it will cause a dragon to come up to the bridge and destroy it, which kills you. Now you've got a set time limit, so break as few eggs as you possibly can. That one is worth breaking because it had a nice upgrade material in it. So we can justify that. But other than that, just no. Now this third dragon is the one where you can get to him from two different ways. Now the way that I recommend getting up to him is this way. Because if you have poison arrows and other forms of ammo, you can kill him really easily from up here because he can't attack you. You've got lizards down there, though. You've got that lizard right there by the uh, pile of eggs. And you've got one more lizard here. And he is right there beneath us. I'm going to show you the trick to getting both of these lizards. But first, 
I'm going to show you the second way that you can get to him and how you can deal with it. And the way down is over here. Yeah, you're going to have lots of orange soapstones that say, like, Amazing View and stuff. I guarantee that's what 80% of these say. Except for this one. That actually is an item down there. A couple, actually. This is the other way you can get to him, but you have to uh, break the eggs to get out anyway. And Fighting him over here is just going to scare the lizards away. So, if you're like me, and your absolute priority interest is the lizards... Then you definitely want to go up here. And I swear the first time I went through this place I kept thinking that most of those dragons were going to land for reinforcement. Thank God they don't. Okay, so for this part, yeah, just shoot them up. I know it takes a while, but poisoning him is the best thing to do because like like I said, he can't hit you from up here unless he flies into the air. Like that. But he doesn't do it all that much. And when he does do it, he plops back down. So there he is, just looking at us all angry-like. And making me waste my arrows with his pitiful attempts at dodging. Okay. Let's poison him again. That's right, you got arrows in your butt. He's gonna breathe fire like that. And we're just gonna continue our onslaught of arrows. Oh, damn it. Now, when he flies into the air like that, he can actually send a fireball at you, but he doesn't do it very often. And even when he does, it's really easy to evade. lock on to him, I could do a... Let's see if this will work. Nope. I don't... Or did that hit him? No, I don't think it did. Get back over here. Or die from the poison. Doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. Yeah, see, I'm not going to be able to hit him from here. Not with that. Man. That's it. Uh oh. Damn it. You're being so difficult. There we go. And he dropped something. Okay. So here's what we're going to do the cat ring for this part or put on the kitty feet whichever one you have at your disposal and the way to get down to this lizard is there's a stepping stone right here so that she won't take too much damage we are going to buff because we want to do as much damage as possible and don't worry about that one down there he's not even facing us so we should be good i'm actually going to get out great resonance soul just in case and keep my wand and my offhand weapon so I don't have to switch to it. I can just hit triangle and then boom, cast a spell if the other one tries to run away. So, lock on. Oh my god. Well. There we go. That worked out either way. Now, he doesn't see us over there yet, so you don't have to worry about him running. And he's ours. So yeah, you get lots of goodies in this place. And that's particularly useless, so I don't like that ring. I do like soul items, though. Okay. Now, we don't have to break dragon eggs to get to this route, which is wonderful. Make sure there's no corpses or items hiding behind the eggs. Now this is where the zip lines come in. This is the bridge I was talking about. 
If you break a certain amount of eggs, you will have a time limit to get across this bridge. Otherwise, you're fine. You can stay on it as much as you want. But as long as you haven't broken the uh, right amount of eggs, then you should be good. You won't have to worry about it. Now, there are cliffs all over these levels that hang right off the edge of the mountain that you can drop onto and get certain items. But we are actually going to follow the zip line back to the beginning so we can kick the ladder and have a nice shortcut. And here it is. Good stuff. And I'm actually going to go right here because this is one of those items and the reason that they give you the aged feather in this place is because you have to use it to get back to the bonfire from this spot. There's no other way to do it. But the cool thing about lighting, or the cool thing about activating that ladder right there that we just kicked down is that it was right above the bonfire. And there's a zip line that helps us get right back over to where we were. Oh, wait, what? Did I really do that? <laughs> I feel so dumb. I didn't equip the cat ring for that part. <laughs> okay, whatever. You guys know what I meant, though. You guys know I said the cat ring. Um, I suppose just don't pay attention to what I did. Okay, this part... There is an item down there, and yes, it requires you jumping off of the zip line mid-zip... But I'm going to show you guys how to get it. Wait till you're right about where the bridge is. Boom. Descending attack. Just to make sure you fall in a straight line and you get a kick-ass soul item for it. If you're brave enough to get that, then you will be rewarded. Uh, I guess if you're not, uh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, now there's a couple items that we needed to get back there. And I don't feel like running past the one dudes to get it, the guys that explode, so we're just gonna go this way with our trusty zip line. I'm surprised I haven't got invaded yet. I'm not trying to jinx myself, but this is a particularly popular area for dickwad invaders. Especially the ones that try to get you to break all the eggs. Oh, man. Those guys suck. Okay, what I wanted to do was get over here. Fuck your eggs. Ferris Lockstone, that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. Uh, that did. I'll take that. Okay, and when you use your aged feather, it uh, resets the eggs. Resting at the bonfire does not cause the eggs to come back, I don't believe. I'm pretty sure you have to either leave the game or hit a loading screen in order to do that. So just keep that in mind. And uh, once we go across this giant bridge, that's when the real fun is going to begin. That should be pretty much every item here, if my memory serves. Let's just take a quick look around while we're zipping through to make sure. Actually, hold on. There is one item in particular I can remember that I didn't get. And that is, we should be able to see it from here. Is it right there? I know there's, like, an item right out on those ledges. Let's see. Oh, I can't get on that damn bridge. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, there's no way for me to get on there. I'm pretty sure it's, like, right over there somewhere fairly certain. Okay. 
taste the bong. Man, my computer needs a new sound card. Because mine has been messing up lately. I can only hear things out of my left ear cup right now, and I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Maybe it was this way. No? It looks like I got everything. I thought there was something by those eggs, but I guess not. Okay, yeah, this is just a shortcut to get over here. Eat bonk. And it's really unfortunate that I can only hear things out of my left ear cup right now because I'm wearing brand new Sennheisers and these things are amazing. Any of you people listening right now that like to wear headphones when you play games, get Sennheisers. I'm actually wearing the same exact model as Markiplier right now in case any of you fellow LP Dark Souls HD watchers happen to watch Markiplier as well. You guys know that he uses the Sennheiser HD 558s. I just bought a pair of those because everybody on Amazon, everybody on HeadFi, and everybody on Facebook all recommended these headphones to me. They said that they were incredible, and you know what? I, I will agree wholeheartedly. These are probably the best headphones I've ever owned in my life. Now, for this part, you can keep jumping across, or you can roll across, it doesn't matter what you do. As long as you make it across, you're good. And you make it to the Dragon Shrine. Brand new bonfire. Okay guys, I hate to cut it short, but if I keep going, this is going to turn into like an hour and a half long episode, so that is all the time that I have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? I don't want to use this. Here we go. We're going full scrub on this guy. He's not going to like this one bit. Where are you? He's not over there. Okay. Looks like we're not ending this episode yet. You guys get bonus footage PvP. Let's see what this guy can do. If he ever shows his face. There you are. Hi. Get... What is that? What are you doing? Yeah. Okay, let's let's equip our moss just to say fuck you to this guy. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? I'll trade with you for that damage. Oh, oh geez. That's a cute back hop. Don't block. It's bad. Whoa. Okay, we're going to have to do this. Whoa! That was close. Nice try, though. Okay, guys. Well, that is all the time that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD. And I will catch all of you in the next episode. See ya.